Hi, today's good person to know is Dr. Kate Stone, founder of Novalia. Now, if I hadn't witnessed this myself, I'd never have believed it. But Kate demonstrated how paper could come to life digitally. Quite literally, Kate and her team have devised a way in which they could make paper interactive by using ordinary printing processes, which is like a printer, and combining it with their electronics to make magical experiences. I was particularly fascinated to see the video on the poster which made the most beautiful music, to see the world's tiniest and thinnest DJ decks which she'd complemented with a baseball cap so that they could have special effects and also if you don't have a notepad like this it's called writing pad. Now, when I was watching Kate's talk, I was just imagining the possibilities that this could give a whole host of people. Because for Kate, all that she's wanting to do is produce something that's fun and that can give people happiness. And so they've developed a creator kit so that you can have your own magical experiences too. So I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching. I studied electronics and then I studied physics. Um, and then I started this company quite a while ago to kind of explore what would happen if I could print conductive inks and try to make things interactive. Um, and I, think I know when I started out, some of the things I wanted to do, like putting the conductive ink in a flexo press, um, no one would let me do it um, and told me it wouldn't work. I kind of like got a load of credit cards and managed to get a second hand Gauss EM280. I have no background in print at all. I just made a whole lot of mess and kind of got a lot of ink everywhere. And, but I showed that I was able to do what I wanted to do. This is a printed piano, a printed Bluetooth piano. Um, and we also have some print where it's an, a full XY touchpad. So it's, we can, and we can print transparent touchpads as well. So we're printing full XY touch um, about sort of iPad size. And it's a full touch screen and it just needs one chip to, to run it. So although my background is like science and electronics, the first person that I hired into my team, um, which is quite a few years ago, maybe like seven years ago, is a graphic designer, because I realized no one understood what, what it was that I was doing. So I realized that I needed to combine like a designer in my team. And in the team now, there's seven of us, and we're such a mix of designers, um, software engineers, um, someone from the print industry, and sort of like ele electronics and, and software. But everything that we do, it's not really about technology. And everything we create, we don't want anyone to look at it and be impressed by a piece of technology or impressed by it as a piece of art. Or, I mean, I work with musicians as well. What we try to do is bring, bring science, technology, and design, and art, and bring them together in a way that creates kind of like a magical user experience. We're still seeing lots of opportunities in advertising and in different formats of that. So, so one of the areas is, is packaging. Um, another could be direct mail. Another could be magazines. Um, we're also doing posters, in-store displays, and uh, also exploring some out, out of home as well. It's not something that costs cents. It, like in high volume, it still costs like, I don't know, like pounds, <laughs> like, you know, more than five, less than 10, to, to add some interactivity onto something. Or in really high volume, more than $5, less than $10 is kind of what I say at the moment. And in some of the big things that we print, so we print things that are, say, a couple of meters in size um, for point of sale, or we're also printing, we've done some decals on the floor. I will try and show you a few things that we've created. So that's what we call standalone. So that has speakers in the poster. You touch it, it makes a sound. So what we've done here is create an interactive poster that works off a Bluetooth platform. Effectively, your mobile phone becomes the speaker. We think a lot about what physical means and what digital means. And so much of what is around us has been transformed by the digital world. <coughs> and digital, Digital, to, digital is, is something that doesn't physically exist. And to me, digital is about the ability to touch something with no moving parts that then knows it's been touched and changed in some way. That digital experience, I'm kind of calling a digital soul because it's like, it's the essence of what something is. It's what makes it what it is. It's what defines its experience. And then taking that soul and then putting it into 
the heart of a physical thing, which is a piece of print, and then kind of creating this digital experience. And all of these physical things around us that are kind of, people are saying are being killed off by digital print and books and music and high street and physical advertising. They're not, they're just transforming. And that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to take everyday things and give them the essence of a digital experience. One of our challenges, it's difficult because every single project we have to get involved in. So we, we've, we've kind of come up with like a creator kit. All you need to do is print out the graphics, choose your sounds, save the sounds on a micro SD card, plug it into the back of the poster once you've stuck the module on, um, and then that's it, and you would then have that experience. So we want to make this very accessible to anyone. Like for us, we just want to license the platform out and the tools just to be free, to allow people to design these things. So we don't print them, we don't design them, we don't create them. Like our job is to create the and define the processes, license the processes, um, design the electronics, write the software, source that from Asia, and just bring all those components together. So this is a poster for a musician and you can touch it and hear her music. So imagine buying a poster from a gig of an artist and um, you take it home and it has clips of the sounds, but maybe a few weeks later, suddenly it comes alive because it's connected to the internet and actually downloaded the album. Maybe the day the album is released, it is pushed out to all the posters in the world that have that on. I have a really bad joke, which is why are notebooks called notebooks? And the answer is because they play notes. This piece of card is the world's thinnest DJ Dex. All it's doing is Bluetooth into my phone. So it's running just regular MIDI software and it's just controlling a DJ app that's on my phone. I have the sound effects in my hat. Yeah. It's making everyday things interactive using print, using paper, using plastic, using regular printing processes. It's not some special machine. These things are printed in different parts of the UK with, with different printers who print you know, packaging or posters or whatever they print you know, regularly. We just force them to put some of our inks in their, in their printing presses. I was totally wowed by Kate's talk because for me, Kate really did define what it means to be digital. It's about knowing what we know and combining it with what we don't know, which is digital. But if we combine the two together, we really can have magical experiences. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to see more, and thank you for watching.